everyone, this is Barbara267 and I wanted to share with you some of my favorite briars that I have. Um, I have three for you today and they're sitting right here and you can't see them. Um, first one, I w okay, we can start with Lionheart. I don't know if you guys have him yet already. If you don't get him, he is beautiful. He is a oh I don't know the coloration well he's glossy obviously but he's um what do they call him uh, a done something he has primitive markings which are the the foot stripe the legs not foot the leg stripes um, he has a bit of a dorsal stripe um, then the appy blanket thing kind of covers that um, and then you can see it again at the base of the tail. So I got the dorsal stripe. I love the stripes, they're so pretty, but his coloring is just beautiful. Aw, he's cute. He's definitely worth getting. Um, I named mine Oakenshield. Full name Thorn Oakenshield. Obviously, he's one of the 13 dwarves. Um, not 13. Is it 12 dwarves? Yeah, 12 dwarves in The Hobbit. Um, he's the leader. So, Oaken Shield it gives him a, a kind of a, a leader like quality as well as bravery and strength. So, that's this is Oaken Shield, the AKA Lionheart. Definitely get him. Also, the glossiness doesn't hurt. He's beautiful. Next is Silverton. I just love this mold. Briar needs to use it more. Please, Briar, use this more. It is a beautiful mold. Um, definitely underused. Um, if you want to know overused molds, the silver mold is definitely overused. Use this one more. It's so beautiful. It's For a cob, it's actually a big mold um, compared to like the, the Gypsy Banner that just came out. This is pretty tall compared to the Gypsy. Gypsy is an actual big draft horse, um, but this is a cob, and usually cobs are a little smaller, but this is a pretty big mold, and it's beautiful. I love the motion. I, I'm i usually not that into trotting molds, but this one is uh, just captures my heart. Definitely get one of these um, if you haven't got any in this mold yet. You should. Beautiful. I love this particular one. I mean, the first one I ever knew of was Danaway Tango, um, which does have um, pretty markings, but I just, I, I'm a sucker for grays. I have to go with the gray. Um, this is the only one I have in this mold, um, and it's probably the only one I'm going to get unless they have new ones. Um, Briar, you should make more. <laughs> I love this mold. Um, so yeah, this is Silverton. I named it uh, Smokescreen. Um, and he's beautiful. What is that? Oh, he has something on his chest. Oh, wow. I love him. He has a pretty little face. Hello. Okay, so that is Silverton. Um, Smokescreen. Next, um, you guys might kill me for showing him off but he's beautiful. No words. <laughs> he's beautiful. This is Scallywag, in case you didn't know already. Uh, ow! Ow, that thing is sharp. Okay, so this is Scallywag. Hello, look at my eyes! So, he's gorgeous. He's not in perfect, perfect condition because I don't play with my models, but I definitely like to kind of put them together for pictures and put them outside and get cool photos and stuff. Hello! So I'm getting all close-ups because he has a lot of good details. Dun dun dun. Okay, so this is Scallywag. I did not rename him because that is an awesome name. What was I saying before? Oh yeah, he's on perfect condition. It's not that he has any, like... Um, rub marks or anything, but um, you know how sometimes you can kind of see little, not scratches of the paint, but I don't know what you call it, but little marks of some sort when you kind of see this, the sunlight kind of catch it. 
um, he has several of those. So they're not really scratches of the paint, it's just kind of rub marks, I don't know what you call it. Um, but yeah, he has some of those. Um, if I were to sell him, I could probably get a few hundred dollars out of him. He's not perfect, perfect condition. What am I saying? I'm never going to sell him. Um, he has a story. Um, okay, it's not really that much of a story, but basically, you know, back when they had the jaw, I call it the jaw, but the J-A-H magazine, just about horses, um, they would have, every few months they would have a connoisseur model, um, and, um, for a while I never sent in any of those cards, um, so I thought they were kind of expensive. Scalawag came around, and... I literally prayed about it. Okay, I shouldn't have prayed about it, but I'm like, God, please give me one connoisseur model. And my name got picked, and that was an amazing day. Um, I was so excited to find my name on that list. And I did send in my card later on for other models, such as Golden Boy, Sand Dollar, and Blue Velvet. Those are the only other briars I've sent in the just about horses subscriber card thing. Um, I never got picked for them, but I got picked for the one model I've ever wanted. And I'm really happy that I, I, I call myself blessed to have one connoisseur. I know some people get like 500 connoisseurs. They have like almost all of them and they spend all this money for them. Um, well, good for you. Good, that's cool. But to have just one, that's amazing. Um, I love him. Where's your stand? Ah. So, yeah. Um, let's go over them again. So, uh, Lionheart. And Silverton. And Scallywag. What I didn't mention yet is that these molds are some of my favorites. Um, the Esprit mold, I have three models. I have uh, <laughs> Lionheart, I have a Custom, and I have, what is his name? Esprit. <laughs> okay. The Esprit mold, what's the... <laughs> Model's name. It's pretty obviously. Um, so I have three in that mold. I have, let's see, in this mold I have Scallywag, Puku, um, Rags to Riches, and Ruffian, so that's four. Um, and I only have one in this mold, but if they come out with more later that I just love, I will definitely get them. Um, I could see a, a done, a, like similar to this, but a little bit darker. Um, glossy and with primitive markings. I could see that on this mold. I think I saw a custom like that and it was just gorgeous. So I could totally see Briar making one like that on this mold because he could pull off anything really because he's gorgeous. Okay, so this is going on too long. Um, thanks for watching. I might do this more later because I have a lot of molds that I love, a lot of models of mine that I just adore. And I'd love to show them to you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.